Hello sports fans, it's me, Bob Zolke, Sportsman Z, and today we're going to discuss the very convoluted National League Baseball playoff pitcher, and I'll give my predictions as best as I can. Uh, if you missed it before, I did a, uh, I did, uh, a video on the AL playoff pitcher and my predictions for the AL, which was much easier because the three divisions in the AL well at least well two of the three divisions are wrapped up like really wrapped up and the uh, and the other one is it's still up for grabs but but in the National League that's really not quite the situation two of them well one of them one of the uh, divisions in the uh, National League, you could say, is wrapped up, and the and one of the other two is just completely bananas and up for grabs, and uh, and then uh, one of the other ones is um, there's a team that I believe has the inside track, but they haven't by any means wrapped up a win in that one. So here's what I've got. I've got a chart just like I had with the last one. And this is uh, this is the playoff picture the way I see it. As you can see, I've got the LA Dodgers as the West champions and the Atlanta Braves as the NL East champions. And of course, that's by no means a lock. That's the one that's still kind of up for grabs, but I still think, really, Atlanta's got the inside track and they're going to win that division. Now, as you can see, over on the other side, I've got in the mix, and I've got the Washington Nationals, the Philadelphia Phillies, the New York Mets, the Chicago Cubs, the Milwaukee Brewers, and I've got the Brewer uh, glove going backwards. The B is it's really a D here. And uh, the St. Louis Cardinals. And all of these teams are in the mix, and actually three of them are in the uh, NL Central. So um, one of them is going to win the Central, and uh, and then the other two, we're going to have to see what happens. Now, my uh, my take on this is, I think the Cardinals are going to win the Central. Because they've got the pitching, they got the pitching, and the the hitting has come on a little bit as of late, and they and uh, they've uh, they've been going back and forth pretty much all summer with the Cubs, but my gut tells me that St. Louis is going to win the Central. So if we put them on the inside, on the side with in, then you've got the three division winners being St. Louis. Atlanta and uh, LA and then that uh, leaves us with uh, two spots that are up for grabs for the wild card and when I say they're up for grabs they are really up for grabs um, I think we can eliminate Washington I don't see Washington getting in there they've just had too many problems all year they've had injuries they've underperformed and I don't expect those problems to be remedied anytime really quickly. Um, I think they're just, uh, I mean, they're, they're still right there, but I, I don't see them as being one of the, uh, one of the wild card teams. Uh, one of the other ones is the Cubs. I think the Cubs are going to get one of the wild cards. I think it's pretty safe to say that the Cubs will get one of the wild cards. Um, the Mets, I think we can eliminate the Mets. I like what the Mets have done. They've, um, kind of like in the, uh, kind of like in the American League, um, with the, uh, with, uh, Oakland, I think it was Oakland. They've been winning a lot lately. Um, no, Cleveland, Cleveland. They've been... A lot like Cleveland, they've been winning a lot lately, and um, they've been on a tear. But again, 
kind of like with just like what I said with Cleveland, I don't see I don't see them being able to maintain that. I don't think they have what it takes to keep rolling all the way. So I think we can eliminate the Mets. I think we can eliminate Washington. Um, as I said, the Cubs, I think, are going to get one of the spots. And then that leaves Milwaukee, Philadelphia. That leaves, well, that leaves Milwaukee and Philadelphia. Um, of the two of those, you know, to be honest, of the two of those, I would really like to see the Phillies get the other wild card. Um, and I, th I think they can. The problem with the Phillies is kind of like, uh, is the same deal with, uh, with Cleveland and, um, and the Mets. They've been winning a lot lately and there's no telling if they can keep doing that. Um, because they're going to have to keep that up. And I don't know, frankly, where they would get all that. I mean, Milwaukee has been... You know, they've got the uh, MVP candidate, Yelich. Got a good offense. They've got a lot of the same players that they had last year. They um, they have they have pretty decent pitching, but more in the bullpen than, they, than in the starting rotation. But still, I think Milwaukee's a more well-rounded team. Um, I'm going to go out on a limb. I'm going to say Philadelphia. I'm going to say Philadelphia somehow figures it out. Harper gets hot, and somehow they get in there and they get the second wild card with the Cubs. So that would make the playoffs, the playoff pitcher for the National League, be the LA Dodgers, the Atlanta Braves, the St. Louis Cardinals, the Cubs, and the uh, and the Phillies, and the Cubs and the Phillies would have a one game playoff to see who who plays um, who gets the the play in as the wild card. So, uh that's my prediction for the National League. Um I really love to hear what some of you guys out there think. I mean, obviously the whole National League is it's just just a big jumble and anybody's guess is as good as mine or as as good as the next guys but I would really like to know what you guys think um, let me know in the comments section again I I did a video on the American League uh, playoff predictions so you might want to go back and check that out and uh, and obviously you know um, if you have a chance uh, check out my other videos I have uh, a few others and I'll be putting up videos as much as I can. I expect to be putting up at least three, four more videos, uh, possibly this week. Um, subscribe. Please subscribe to the channel if you like the content. Let me know if you like it. Um, give me a thumbs up if, if you like what you see. Comments are always welcome. And uh, come back and, uh, and view some of my other videos and the videos in the future. And, uh, and let me know if there's anything you want to see. You know, I'm on Twitter at number four strat fan, fanatic. Um, it's N O four strat fan. I think it's strat fan. Um, maybe fanatic. I'm not sure. I really should get that straight for the next video. But anyway, um, and then uh, you know, let me know what you think. Um, and then I will. I'm more than happy to talk about anything else you want to hear about. Got some Stratomatic videos talking about Stratomatic baseball and the other Stratomatic games. I'll have a few of those coming out. So uh, until next time, it's uh, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.